it is I, the Tatemeister. And I'm here with my official review on the movie known as Death Note, based on the famous anime featuring Shadow. And we are going to give you our opinions on this movie because I really enjoyed the movie. I know that's kind of hard to believe, but I'm one of the few people that actually like this movie. So let's get into it. The human whose name is written in this name shall die. Shall we begin? <laughs> You're a death god? Yes. What exactly can I do with this death note? Put a name down and see what happens. Hey everybody, it's your boy the Tatemeister. And this is going to be our review on the Death Note movie. This is me and Shadow, our opinions on it. And I thought it was a pretty fantastic movie. What did you think about it, Shadow? I know, I know your feelings on it are kind of mixed, so I wanted to see it's what you really were going to say. Mixed. Like, it was fine for what it was. I'm just... Well, I hated the random-ass music that they had. That's the thing. The only complaints I really had about this movie was that it felt really rushed. Like, it should have been like a two-hour, th- th- like, two- to three-hour movie. But instead, they tried to cram it all into one hour and 30 minutes, and it kind of really felt rushed. Like, <laughs> you know, the anime was not like that. They made it, like, really long, and they gave you, like, a giant story only, arc. The anime was only 30 episodes. That's not that long. 37? That's a lot of episodes for, like... No, I think 30. It was, like, 32, maybe, but, like... I'm just know. saying they had more time to fit stuff in. Well, this movie was really short, so they had to try to cram all this stuff into one movie, and it was really kind of hard. But the ending was amazing. I loved the, the actors were amazing. Now, Nat Wolf as L. Light was kind of, you know, what's it? He was good, but, like, I don't know. It, he wasn't as good as Light Yagami, obviously, but, I mean, kind of hard to top Light Yagami. But Light Turner was pretty cool, and I really liked the ending because it showed just how smart he actually was. Because we all thought he was this dumb kid that didn't know what he was doing. But then at dumb the end, kid. He, people had to do, he did homework for people. I know, it's weird, but they made it look like he was just a dumb kid that was, like, you know, not that he was smart. He just manipulated but... by by the power of the boner, basically. The power of the boner. Yeah, Misa in this movie, Mia, she was really cool, and I don't know, I, yeah, I liked her a little bit. Like, the anime Misa was kind of, like, you know, goofy and happy-go-lucky and, like, oh, love and light and stuff, but she, this Misa wasn't like that. She's like, I'm not putting up with your shit, like, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Oh, I hated her. So they did a good job with her. Yeah, and then, oh, L was my, L and Ryu, they did it fabulously. I had my doubts about Keith playing L, but after seeing this movie, man, holy shit, they, they made me like L more. Like, holy fuck, he was amazing. I did not have a doubt in him. Like, I saw him just, like, crouching around and everything. I'm like, oh, he already knows what to do. I mean, everybody's complaining they, they're not like the anime, but I thought L and Ryuk were done masterfully. Now, Ryuk was a lot more aggressive like in this anime, movie than he was in honestly. the anime, but I really didn't care, because, like, well, he's a demon god, like, obviously he's gonna be pretty aggressive, like, you fucking kidding me? But he really wasn't want... that different from the anime anyway, so I really didn't care, but... <laughs> I do not want him to be, the series to be like the anime, honestly. Well, I liked about it, because this movie took a more realistic approach to, you know... To the death, though, because in the anime, it didn't really seem very realistic. Like, L just picks it up, no big deal, and then uh, Shigami appears, no big deal, kill people, no big deal. I mean, it felt like Light was like a freaking psychopath. I mean, he just, all right, I'll just kill people, no big deal, you know? Like, you know oh, this. a demon god, no big deal. Like, That's this the is literal, gonna be great. That's the literal definition of psychopath. <laughs> Pretty much. Light, Light, Light Yagami was, but Light Turner was much more relatable because when. When Ryuk first appeared, he was like, he was like scared as fuck. Oh my god, holy shit, a death god! And that's how anybody would react in that situation. They're not gonna be like Light Yagami just sitting there like, oh hey, how you doing? <laughs> Thanks for coming in my room. Like nobody's gonna be like that. <laughs> he like knew that there was gonna be a death god in his room. And then still, if you see a death god come into your fucking room, you're not gonna be like, oh hi, how you doing? You're gonna be scared as fuck. I'm just saying, like. <laughs> Let him just say it. Especially the way they made William Defoe look in this movie, because holy shit, he looks scary as hell in this movie. Like Ryuk looks way scarier and way. Oh, the makeup was great. I know that CGI was on point, man. Like every time Ryuk was on screen, I was like, oh my god, he looks fucking. Well, fantastic. honestly, to me, he kind of looked like he was just a puppet or something. Now that was the other complaint I had is that they didn't have enough Ryuk scenes, which they hyped it up to make it like, oh my god, no. William Defoe's playing Ryuk. My but opinion he's is the they made him look like he was a goddamn puppet. I, I love that part where he takes the freaking Ferris wheel apart. Part. That was freaking awesome. He was like, boom, 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 boom. I'm like, holy shit. 
<laughs> that was dope. But um, and then at the, of course the ending. The ending is spoiler alert. If you, why are you watching this video? If it's if you haven't watched the movie, yeah, go watch the movie. Point is, you know if it's good. <laughs> Yeah, they th everybody's complaining that they don't want to watch it. Well, it's actually good. Don't listen to the freaking critics. It's actually really good. Just judge it's it for just yourself. Don't compare it to the anime. Because That's like, what I keep telling people. They need to stop comparing it to the anime. Of course it's not going to be as good as the fucking anime. You need to Well, the thing is, I don't want them to be based off the anime either. I like, mean, people need to understand based... that this is an adaptation, not a freaking no. direct copy of the freaking anime. Like, you're... <laughs> like, come on. Give the movie a chance. Like, jeez. Like, I don't know. Like, that's what I keep telling people, and then, um, what else, uh, by the way, after we're done with this video, Tyler, we'll, uh, play Brawlhalla together, but anyway, so, whew, sorry, I'm trying to catch a breather here, um, yeah. what was I about to say, oh yeah, Adam Wingard, the guy that directs this movie is really good, if you ever watch Your Next or The Guest, I really recommend you all go watch it, because it was a, those were fantastic movies, and I thought he did a really amazing job with this one, I mean, he, this is probably the best American adaptation of an anime I've ever seen, like, it was just incredible, I loved it. Now, of course, it wasn't as good as anime, but it was still like really Dragon good. Ball Evolution, that oh, masterpiece my. of a movie. Oh man, I, I think I lost. Okay, <laughs> that's the thing. Comparing this movie to Dragon Ball Evolution or Last Airbender or Ghost in the Shell, it's a billion fucking times better. Okay, like. <laughs> so I haven't even seen. <laughs> we can all show. agree on that. What? I still haven't even seen that movie. Ghost in the Shell was all right. It could have been way freaking better, but it didn't really meet my expectations at all. I thought it was going to be like a super badass movie, and it wasn't anything like the original movie. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? Like, it had good special effects, but it just it didn't have good writing. The acting was sucky, and you'd think Scarlet would be pretty good, but she wasn't really that good in that movie, and it was like, I don't know. But in this movie, it was the opposite. Like, great actors, great director, great freaking special... I mean, did you see that part where the guy's head literally comes flying fucking off? I'm like, holy shit, that was gory as fuck. Like, you mean the thing that was in the first 20 minutes of the movie? Like, they, they show the guy getting chopped up. They show these guys hitting the fucking ground, their bodies exploding. I'm like, what the hell? This is crazy. Like, I always explode. Like, they never got that gory in the anime. Like, they're going all out gore in these movies. Like, holy shit. Like, Adam Wingard does not play with horror, man. He, <laughs> blood smash! <laughs> like, holy mother shit. Like, that was crazy, but... And, of course, Misa dies. She just... You hear her bones break. She fucking hits the grill. Like, her smack! <laughs> like... <laughs> and then, then you find out at the end that, um... What's it? Light and was actually really smart. He had a plan the whole time. And you, he thought he was this dumb kid. I'm like... Wow, that was awesome. And then Ryu at the end's like, you humans are so interesting. Like that line from the anime. If he kid, then he would have been taken down by L by now. Well, they said that Adam's going to make a sequel. I really hope he does, because I want to see what they do with this series. Like, I hope this is better than the Japanese movies. I'm not saying the Japanese movies weren't good. I just felt like they, they went too close to the anime. Like, they should have changed it up a bit. Instead of making I like, did like not watch anime. them. I saw what it had to offer, and I was like, no, let's not. I don't know. It was all right, but this I like this movie better than all those Japanese it was great. Like, this is the best American adaptation of an anime ever. Like, I know people are going to disagree with me. Hate of me if you want, guys. But I like I mean, the movie. There ever I'm sorry. A good like, anime, um, like, live action movie of anime that was good? The first good one. Yeah, this is like the first good anime American movie. I mean, like, like, I've like, seen Attack on Titan, and I don't think I want to again. Oh, that's, a ja that's Japanese, though. No, I'm saying, like, any in general. Was oh, there okay. ever a good one? This was the first, like, really good one. Like, they, they, Adam really delivered this. I was so hyped when they announced this movie. I'm like, this is going to be the first, like, good American adaptation. Because, really, Death Note is such a great series. There is no way you can make a bad movie out of it. I mean, there's just no way. I'm like... <laughs> Hold my beer. I mean, seriously. Hold my beer. Well, that's the thing. Last Airbender, everybody thought the movie was going to be great. And, well, we know how that turned out. I mean... <laughs> There wasn't even the Ken Kenoshi Warriors in that one. Oh my god, don't even give me a start. I can go out of rant how bad that movie is. Now, that's the thing. It's, it still had some enjoyable moments, like Zuko was pretty good, and I guess... Uh, why was Aang not... Why was it not Aang, and it was... Why was it um, At least they had the DC... At least M. Night Shyamalan had the DCDs to change the name. Like, at least it's not the same Aang, because I would have been really pissed if they kept the name. <laughs> at least he had the decency to change the name. Like, dude, M. Night, did you even watch the fucking show? Like, do you even know what you're doing, dude? Like, <laughs> What, it was based off a show? 
<laughs> That's probably what he was thinking. Like, oh, it's based, is it based off a show? I don't know. I guess I'll just go whatever I'm doing. Like, I read the first and the last part of the book. <laughs> He's like, I'm just gonna cast the worst actors out there and uh, get, get get the worst writers out there and make a movie. Just, Great idea. Like, like, yeah, they could have been better. Yeah, <laughs> get some crappy ass special like, effects that look like they're in a... He wasn't funny enough. <laughs> like, what was he thinking with this movie? Like, I don't know. M Night, you need to just stick with horror, man. What the fuck are you trying to trying to do with this sci-fi I mean, shit? Like, like, I kind of like Soka in that one, but he could have been funnier. Honestly. Oh my god, Sokka, Sokka and Katara no, no, were no. the worst so actors in that fucking movie. Don't Soka know. was actually pretty bad. Like, Zuko was the only good actor, and even he couldn't save the movie because of how bad the fucking movie was. <laughs> like, Dave Patel is such a great actor. Why would he do a movie like that? I just it's like what's his face? Um He probably liked the anime and thought it was gonna go well. <laughs> Apparently it didn't. Like and besides, Zuko's not fucking black. I get Dave Patel like I don't know, why am I talking about last year? We're supposed to be talking about Death No, I get off topic. No, we're just talking about shit. Well, get, we're getting off topic here, guys. All right, we just want to rant on how bad Last Airbender. Dragon Ball Evolution is the only one that's worse than that one. <laughs> I try to forget that one. Oh you know, my the flying god! Number. What the? They didn't could do anything from the original. At least the Last Airbender had some elements from the original. The, the Dragon Ball Evolution it's like was they like they didn't even want to make a sequel. Dragon Ball Evolution was like nothing like the anime at all in, in any way, shape, or form. It was just like we they just took they took the name. That was it. Like nothing from it at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Piccolo? Okay, he's this giant blob read it monster that, I don't know. And Goku's a 16-year-old kid. Like, what the hell? <laughs> what is going on? And the Kamehameha looks like a spiral shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, Let's not forget about that airbending, though. <laughs> I swear. They, uh, um... I swear, I got that director never made a movie again because he just felt so bad that he ruined he ruined Dragon Ball with that. Oh, but there's we're not there's a movie that's worse than all of them combined. You know what it is, Tyler? Me? No, it's called the Emoji Movie. <laughs> what? I can't even hear you. I watch one minute and then I'm like, uh, can I? Can I? What? What am I watching? What is this? Like, what is it? What is life? <laughs> Like, at least we can all agree Death Note is better than all those, okay? Nobody's gonna disagree with me there. <laughs> I don't even know what you said. I couldn't even hear you. <laughs> emoji movie, what's that? Oh, piece of shit, emoji movie? I don't know what the difference is. <laughs> uh, I thought we were talking about anime, though. <laughs> now we're just talking about bad movies in general. <laughs> we're just all over the place in this video, holy shit. Um... You know, they're making a Sonic movie. I'm wearing a Sonic shirt, by the way. They're making a Sonic movie, and I hope it turns out good. Not like Alvin the Chipmunks was. Cause I really don't think it will. I hope like, it's I good. I, I don't mean, even know any A lot of video game movies but... don't turn out good. Like, for example, um, Mario Brothers. <laughs> or Mortal Kombat. <laughs> they didn't like, make a more. Mortal I, I... Kombat was fine. I hope the Sonic movie's good. I doubt it's gonna be because there's so if, if Sony or or one of them does it, then it's gonna suck. But like, they gotta get a good, good director or somebody to do it because I hope it's more animated than live action. Because if they try to mix live action into it, it's kind of gonna suck. But you know, we'll see. I mean, because you know, Alvin and the Chipmunks and Smurfs weren't that great. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I enjoyed Alvin and Chipmunks as a kid, really. The movies are, are okay. They just got worse as they went along. The first one's out pretty good, but the rest of them are just, I don't know. The other ones, I just forgot they kept making them, honestly. <laughs> it's like, um, what's it? Uh, what's that? Uh, Scooby-Doo or uh, Tom and Jerry. They're just going to keep making movies, and they're just not going to stop. <laughs> I'm surprised Scooby-Doo and Tom and Jerry haven't done a crossover yet. I mean, they, they're... The two oldest cartoons in the world. Why the fuck have they not done a crossover yet? Like, I'm very sure they're not. <laughs> they better do a crossover. That'd be like the best movie ever. Like, are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> like Tom and Jerry meet Scooby Doo in the gang. Like Scooby Doo's like, "Roll, roll, Raggy, it's Tom and Jerry." Like, <laughs> you just made the whole script. Oh my god. Um, but seriously, guys, let's get back on topic. So overall, I gave this movie a 7.5 out of 10. It was a really good movie. My only complaints were that Death Note was really rushed. They should have made it longer. And they didn't have all the scenes. They didn't. The main complaint also was Rem wasn't in it. Uh, Mises. 
you know, Death God wasn't in it. But I guess they're going to save her for the second movie because they don't want to introduce two Death Gods at once to people because people are going to be like, what the fuck? That's too many. Like, <laughs> too, <laughs> I think one was scary enough. enough. <laughs> It's probably what Adam was thinking. Like, fuck that. We're not putting two death gods in here. That'd be too crazy. Like, Jesus. <laughs> there were some people that says that Misa's not actually dead. That she might come back. Which I kind of doubt. I and mean, we saw her freaking her her whole body was in the broken death half. Note. What do you like, mean that she's not dead? I mean, like, dude. We saw her freaking land on the ground and all her bones broke. I'm pretty sure she's dead. Like, <laughs> and doesn't death note kill people? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. If you write somebody's name in the death note... And they die. They're definitely dead. Like they ain't coming back. Like <laughs> unless she, unless she comes back as Rem, which would be a really plot twist. Like holy shit, Rem is actually Misa in the movies. What? I hope I still not. Like That'd to be think that weird. light is like whatever. I just can't wait for the second one because I'm really excited to see how the L versus like light thing's gonna go. Because L is like a total badass in this movie. What That'd if it's shit. not even light this time? What do you mean? Well, what if like L actually killed light? Ooh, that'd be good. Well, I don't know. Like, that'd be a twist. Yeah, they can make it so L actually kills Light in this series and becomes the next Death then, No, then somebody else has it. And then L has to go after him again. Uh, I was thinking L could actually be the, the one that holds the Death now, because that'd be a real plot. That's so out of character for him. That would be so out of character. This is, this, the movies are different. They could do it differently. You never know. I mean. Yeah, I know, but like. I like to think that he will keep fighting on to try to stop other people with death notes. You know, some people say they should have made a series instead of a movie, and I'm like, uh, well, I, I watched the When the <laughs> trailer came out, I thought it was going to be a series. Nah, it's definitely a movie. I, I don't know. I mean, they could keep going I with saw the it. movies, I guess, but I think I it's going to be a I know it's a trilogy, movie. I what? I saw it. I know it's a movie. <laughs> I know. I, it's going to be a trilogy, I think. Adam's going to probably make two more, and then I guess I don't know what they're going to do after that, but... <laughs> I don't know, I'm just really excited, because, like, L versus Light in this, like, in the anime, it was more about psychological warfare. Like, it was Light versus L, like, like their minds versus each other. But in this one, it's more physical. Like, it's more like L and they actually fight, and they're actually confrontating, and it's kind of I cool. mean, well, L found out who he was, like, 30 minutes ago. I know, and that's what I liked about L in this movie. He just figured it out, like, bam, right that. Like, it took forever for L to figure out Light was... Well, I mean, that, that. was, like, all by pure luck. I mean, Al figured it out real quick in the movie. It took him, like, 20 episodes to figure out it was light in the freaking anime. <laughs> and he died. He got he got killed anyway. I mean, I, did he, I don't even think he did figure it out. He just died. Like, when he died, he figured it out. <laughs> I still don't even know his name. What, L? Yeah, that's the thing. I hope in the second movie we actually get his real name. Because they were close in this one. They, the guy yeah, actually almost got like it, Joker, but then he you died. Can't give, you can't say his real name. Why not? It's just, it's just a thing. Well, yeah, it's weird. Like, I, they, the, the Chinese guy almost got it, like, but then he died at the last second. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, if you want to go watch the movie, watch it on Netflix. It's really good. Don't compare it to the anime. Watch the movie first if you haven't watched the anime yet, and then after you're done watching the movie, watch the anime, and then and then judge it, because you shouldn't judge it to the anime. because how what Tori only had one name or whatever. One, like, one word for a name. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, the Death Note was, that's the thing, in this movie, the Death Note was, like, way more powerful. I mean, it never did, the, like, that ending where he, like, killed three people, like, doing that, it, it, the Death Note could never do that shit in the anime. Yeah, it, it, it could. Had limits, he I just mean. needs to put instructions. I know, I mean, the Death Note, like, it was so specific, like, at the end. He, like, told him to kick up the no, Death I mean, Note and like, give it to him. Like, holy shit, that is In the anime, the, it was that... It had that much detail, too. You just needed to put it down. Remember that, like, the um, bus one or whatever it was? Yeah, you're right. I, it's just weird, because i never seen the Death Note do anything like that. That's just crazy. Like, Jesus. Because he's like, oh, I'm just going to give everyone heart attacks in the beginning. Well, yeah, and in the, in the anime, he's just like, heart, heart attack, heart attack, heart attack. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, and this one, it's like um, Steeler's choice if he doesn't decide. I mean, he's really specific in the movie. Like, Jesus, he is, he's just really dope. I mean. Oh, and also in the movie, it seems like um, Ryuk is the one who just does the killings. That's what I Death love Note. about it. Like, Ryuk was never really, like, involved in the anime. Like, he was in the background, but he, he wasn't, like, super involved. But in this one, he's like, he's the one killing them. It's cool. Like, that's what I wanted from this so much. Like, for him to actually be the one killing the people. 
and that's what's cool. It's it's more mutual instead of like him just watching, you know, like. That's what I hated about the anime. Like, why is Ryuki even there? He's just watching. Like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> like, I love Ryuki. He's my favorite character. But, like, dude, like, what the fuck was he doing in the anime? Just watching life, getting entertained? Like, he's not even doing yeah, anything. That was like, this whole thing. He was like, humans are entertaining. Well, granted, he was the one that killed Light at the end of the anime. I get it. But, you know. His first I mean... kill that we saw. <laughs> Ryuk is pretty savage. I love William Dafoe, man. I hope he comes back to do the second movie. Like he, he was the best part of that movie, and it's like, and the second movie, they better have more. They better make the movie longer and have William Dafoe in more scenes, because every time he was on screen, it was like, holy shit, this is awesome. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I will, okay, guys. So that's our review on uh, Death Note. I will see you on the next video. So go subscribe to Shadow Four Five Six Eight when you get a chance. Um, make like go. no videos anymore. Well, it, that's your choice. You can make videos, you know. <laughs> oh, I got school. Whatever, dude. Yeah, my parents are watching Guardians of the Galaxy too. But uh, I will see wow. you all. What? Now I just want to like. Now I just want to listen to Mr. Blue Sky. Mr. Blue Sky. All right. Well, I will. I will see you all in the next video. Watch my Sonic video. Subscribe. You know what to do. And uh, I'm gonna write your name in the death note if you don't subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, so we just got like a lawsuit coming on us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See y'all later. Bye.